Secretary Ezekiel Machogu has dismissed sentiments attributed to him that government intends to cut funding of public universities. Machogu says that he was quoted out of context as he was merely asking universities to seek alternative revenue streams. The CS said that funding of public universities is protected, including the capitation of the Higher Education Loans Board and cannot therefore be affected under the current government cost-cutting measures. The sentiment attributed to education CS Ezekiel Machogu has rubbed stakeholders in the higher education the wrong way. Voices of discontent emanating from unions and even university students' leadership terming the move ill-advised and an attempt to drive the poor out of higher education circles. It means now education is going to remain for the rich only. So for him now to withdraw that little funding, it means majority of the learners from the poor background are going to drop out of the school. But Tuesday, Machogu made it clear that his remarks at Dedan Kimadi University in Nyeri was taken out of context. The CS clarifying that his call was for universities to expand their revenue generation streams where possible to meet the financial gaps. What we said is yes, government is supporting universities and the government will be able to continue supporting universities through capitation and even in the infrastructure of funds, uh, government will never stop uh, funding universities. Machogu was in Kiambu said funding to public universities is intact and ring fence that the government will continue supporting such institutions of higher learning and that the Kenya Kwanza plan is to increase research funding from 0.8% to 2%. Which are already doing research and innovation and by so doing they are generating a lot of, uh, a lot of revenue and uh, what we are saying is that we can also explore other ways of uh, generating income, other streams of uh, revenue. So that is what we say, Dan. The C is saying there should be no cause for alarm as even the capitation of 15 billion shillings, higher education learning board will not be touched. My way of doing things is that I will be able to work very, very closely with stakeholders. On Monday was one that any attempts by the government to cut funding to public universities will render education expensive as universities will charge students fees at market rate which will be beyond reach for many students. And um, we launched the Kenyan German TVET initiative for youth employment already in 2016. And such a large practical exposure increases both the practical technical knowledge as well as the social skills which are equally important in a workplace. We have a deficit of 130 trainers. We pray for timely flow of capitation. Ruth Wamboy for Prime Edition.